Hi everybody, it's Daphne. I'm so glad that you could come and join me today. I thought that today I would talk about some new products that I'm using. Um, some of them are quite new, um, new, new, as in new to me, and some of them I have had for a little while, but they're still new to me, so I'm getting used to them and whether, whether I'm liking them or not. Um, so I'll just get stuck in. Um, I'm going to start with a cleanser. And I had spoken in my skincare routine videos about using an oil-based cleanser as generally my first cleanse um, and that I would often use um, a creamy cleanser. The one I had in um, in rotation at the moment was the Dr. Heitke creamy cleanser which ha is a slight exfoliating cleanser so I was looking for something slightly more milky creamy that I could use on a more regular basis because the Dr. Heitke you're only supposed to use a couple of times a week, maybe every three days or whatever. So this is the one I picked up um, and it's the Caudalie. Um, it's the Caudalie Gentle Cleansing Milk. Um, they've actually changed the packaging. This used to look as if it was, that the cleanser was like a pale green, but it obviously was just the bottle. <laughs> so there it is. This I purchased uh, a week ago and you can see I'm down to here well I'm not the only one using it my daughter's using it as well so really should be about this much gone but it's a beautiful milky cleanser now I will use it as my second cleanse um, I have my oil cleanser which I'm just out of I'm just out of my almond cleanser um, so um, I have to repurchase that but this actually will cl clean all your makeup. I use it as a double cleanse at the moment because, as I say, I've just run out of the almond oil. And um, it will take all your makeup off and leave your and then cleanse your skin as if you use it as the second cleanse. Leave your skin so clean. It doesn't leave you feeling tight or dry or itchy or anything. It's really, really lovely. And Caudalie are best known for the fact that they use resveratrol in um, in their products and resveratrol comes from grapes, grape seed, and it is renowned for its anti-aging properties. So anything that has resveratrol in it, that's that's a good thing. So um, I'm just going to read a little bit. It's for every, it's a velvety milk and it cleanses and removes makeup from the face and eyes, which it does, it doesn't sting the eyes at all. It's enriched with nourishing and soothing agents. It leaves the skin clean, soft and comfortable. Um, it's dermatologically and ophthalm ophthalmolo ophthalmologically tested um, and it's non-comedogenic so that's not going to block your pores. And what I do is it's quite milky so I, I'm going to put a little tiny bit out. It's quite milky but it's not runny milky and you massage it into your face. It doesn't dry, you know though sometimes with a, um, a cream or a milk cleanser it can dry in very quickly and you feel You've lost the slip if you're trying to give yourself a little massage. That doesn't actually, it stays lovely and silky. And I will remove that with um, a damp face cloth, a warm damp face cloth. And it's beautiful. So highly recommend that, the Caudalie Cream Cleanser. Now I did mention that I have run out of my almond oil, which I absolutely love. And I'm going to repurchase that now in the next day or so. But I did purchase um, a grapeseed oil and it has a sticker over it. You won't be able to see it. <laughs> it's Tisserand, but it's got, I don't know if you can see it, it is grape, grapeseed oil. This is generally used, it's a blending oil, so if you were doing aromatherapy massage, that would be a carrier oil. So you could put your aromatherapy oils into that. And again, I have to check, I used to know off the top of my fingers what the... Um, what the percentage was, you know, if it's 5 ml of carrier oil, how many drops of, or is it 10 ml of carrier oil, how many drops of essential oil, um, which I'm, I must check out because I have actually, in the couple of nights that I didn't have the almond oil, I did use that once or twice. It's slightly, how would I describe it? It's slightly thicker, I think, than, than the almond oil. So I don't know if I'd use it all the time as a, as a facial cleanser, but it does remove eye makeup as well. But what I do do with this, I use this in an oil blend that I make up for, as a body oil, which I will talk about in a later, I have, I have a video coming up at the end of the month that I'm hoping to talk about some sort of body care and so on. That is one that I would put into a blend for using on my body. It has the resveratrol in it as well, doesn't it? Yes, grapeseed oil. Um, so it's very good for anti-aging and it's lovely to use as a body oil um, mixed with others, which I am going to talk about 
Um, so that's another new one to me. Um, speaking of body, oh no, I'm not going to move on to body products yet. Um, I was buying some products the other day um, at the Clarence counter. I have um, oh, the beautiful assistant on the Clarence counter in Lloyd's Pharmacy, Sarah. She's absolutely wonderful. She's so knowledgeable and so wonderful. Um, but I was buying some products as a gift and she, I got a, a, gift, a gift with purchase. So um, I got this. It's an eye makeup remover, the Clarins eye makeup remover, and it's the, I'm sorry, I need my glasses again. Um, sometimes it's hard to read the writing because it's white on pale. Um, it's just the instant eye makeup remover. It's for waterproof and heavy eye makeup. Now, if I let that sit, it will separate. So it's a biphase, I think that's what they call it. Um, so before you use it, you shake it and you just put a little drop onto um, a cotton, cotton bud, a cotton ball um, or a cotton pad and hold it on your eye and very very gently sweep and it takes everything off it's lovely and you can do you know then under your eye because I often that often happens to me where I'll have a little bit of residue from my um, mascara now this is just a, it's a um, deluxe sample size really actually really really like that it's very gentle and really really like it now another I bought this when I was buying the, the products the other day from Sarah and Clarence have some new products out. They're still awaiting their spring colours, so that will, you know, I, I, I was looking in Boots as well to see what new spring colours were about or any anything new, and I, it would appear that nothing nothing new has come in as yet, so um, when it does, I will go and have, I might even see if I can have a little video while, <laughs> while I'm looking. Um, but Clarence had two new products out um, on display, and one um, was this, and it's a lip balm, and it's so cute, look, it's called Kiss Lip Balm. And um, I have the little leaflet. At least I had it. Oh, where did I put it? I don't know where I put it. I had all the information about it. Oh dear. Oh well, I'll just have to go on. Um, it is the Jolie Balm Eclat du Jour. And it's the Kiss Lip Balm, as you can see. So it's not, it's like um, heavy duty cardboard or, yeah, cardboard packaging. It's not um, like a solid tin, uh, metal packaging or a heavy plastic packaging, it's not like a lipstick. But this part is, um, and when you twist it up, that's what it looks like. And Clarence is written on it there. And this, is absolutely gorgeous. I've only had it since Friday and this is Sunday. When Sarah was selling it to me, she was saying, that's really, really, I was looking for a balm that I could carry in my bag that I don't have to, you know, squeeze out onto my finger or dip my finger into a pot. This really appealed to me. So she said, it's, it's beautifully moisturizing, but she said it also brings out the natural color in your lips. So I put it on and I went about my business and um, I went to put some lipstick on and I thought, I look as if I have a little residue of lipstick on, but actually it wasn't, it was this. And I've now been putting it on, as I'm putting my makeup on, put this onto my lips to moisturize, and then putting my lipstick on over. You can wipe off if it feels, it's not greasy, but it is very moisturizing. I absolutely love it. So it's kind of, I don't know if it'll swatch. No, you won't be able to see it because it's very pale pink. It's just there, or peach, very, very pale. So when it goes onto your lips, it's, as I say, it's really moisturising and comfortable to wear and then it gives you that look as if you have a little bit of lipstick on. So I love that for morning times when I'm running out to do a school run or, you know, I'm going to the shops or something and I don't want to have, you know, a, a full lipstick on or even a nude lipstick on. I want to look as if it's, this is, this is me. <laughs> um, so I have a hair that's annoying me there. There, it's gone now. Um... Yeah, so I would highly recommend that and I will be repurchasing it, repurchasing it because it's really moisturising and comfortable to use and I've been carried in, carrying it in my bag. So, that's my lip balm. Now, um, yes, I've been really focusing on body care in the last while. Um, I suppose because, well, technically it's springtime, but in Ireland it's still very cold. But we are getting sunnier days and hopefully that's going to continue. Um, it's not warm at all. <laughs> um, you might look out and think, oh, the sun is shining, I'm going to wear 
something lighter and might go without a jacket and you go outside it's like oh it's still cold um so but anyway i have been working um concentrating on body care um because i'm really looking forward to the sunnier weather i love the sun the sunshine i don't necessarily expose my skin to tan i would always wear spf but i do love the sunnier weather um so with that in mind i have been trying to exfoliate and i've i've had i have a little routine that i've um developed in the last little while that i will share with you in the video that i was talking about that i'm going to do at the end of the month but this is a new product and again it's a clarins product and it is the exfoliating body scrub for smooth skin with bamboo powders and it softens smooths and firms and that's it there and now again I only have this for a couple of days but I've tried it out and I really like it it has little grains in it I'll see if I can put a little bit out there it comes out white and you won't be able to see it but there are little grains they're not harsh so you can work it in I'll probably leave my hands lovely and soft and um, work it in and then you you can put it on to dry or damp skin and it, it says to kind of concentrate on the obviously dry areas like you know maybe your knees or um, your elbows um, I'm gonna save it for kind of you know my knees my elbows and my upper arms and um, hopefully this will do a lovely job and I've really enjoyed using that so really really nice product to follow on with that I was using I am using the Clarins um, Relax Bath and Shower Concentrate with essential oils and that's it there in a lovely blue bottle and again this was a gift with purchase so it was a really good size that's a hundred mil you only need a tiny tiny bit and oh it smells delicious it really really smells delicious it's kind of an earthy smell so you know if that's not if it's if that's not you know your taste then maybe not um but i really enjoy that smell it's kind of a natural smell and it you you can use it in the bath you pour a, a capful um under the running water or in a in the shower you just put a small amount onto a damp sponge um so really really it's very very moisturizing and gentle on the skin so i've been really enjoying that and you only need you know if you use those shower puffs you only need a tiny little bit beautiful um so hopefully when i do my video at the end of the month talking about all of these things you'll see it'll all come together now another product that isn't necessary it's not a it's a hand product and i've used this a couple of times it was a gift and it is the l'occitane I'm not sure if I talked about it actually in another video. Um, I know I spoke about the L'Occitane hand cream, but this is the one minute hand scrub. And that's it there. Um, yes, so it's got shea oil. It's exceptionally concentrated and um, it is ideal for dry or damaged hands. And what you do is you put it on to take a scoop. Now it's quite runny. You can see you have to kind of mix it when you when you if you had a little spatula, you know, if you use a little tiny spatula that you might get with a, a face cream or with a, f a face mask, give it a little stir. Or even use a clean teaspoon or the, hand of a, the handle of a teaspoon and just give it a little stir, just to incorporate all the ingredients. Uh, I think it's based on sugar and obviously shea oil, but um, you put, take a little scoop of it. I have, the, I have the little cover on it still because I didn't want it. It's quite, you can see, I don't know if you can see there. There's oil sitting on it, so it's quite oily. See it there? It's quite oily, but there's lot there's um, a grain in it as well, and I'm pretty sure it's sugar. Um, so you put it onto dry hands, massage it, work it into you know where the dry areas are, your knuckles, maybe into you know the palms of your hand, the, the heel of your hand, all across the top of your hand, um, and just massage it in as if you're washing your hands. And you do it obviously for a minute at least and then you rinse it off and follow with the hand cream that leaves your hands like silk and i i think i've said before i have a major problem with dry hands oh, actually i knew there was i knew i used a spatula there's a little one that comes with it that was in the box so um i knew i'd used a spatula but you can see it's quite oily because i had been keeping it in the box and it has stained the box so you just be careful where you where you put it and don't put it maybe on nice bedding or 
near clothes or something like that because it might stain it. But it leaves your hands like silk and I have absolutely been loving that because I really do struggle with dry hands. They're not as bad as they used to be. They used to be absolutely dreadful but at the moment they're not too bad and I put it down to this and the L'Occitane hand cream and the Liz Earl that I had spoken about before. Um, but yeah, really, really highly recommend that. Um, now, this is a hair product that I have um, I have bought recently. I think I used this before, many years ago, and hadn't repurchased it. But I did repurchase it recently and um, have been using it. It's the John Frieda Frizz Ease Secret Agent Touch Up Cream with Avocado Oil. Seals hair to eliminate frizz and flyaways. And that's it there. Sorry, the light is catching it. Um, this has been a godsend for me because my, my hair is another story. Um, I don't colour my hair. This is my own, my own natural colour, which to the front looks very blonde or platinum or grey or silver, whatever, whatever. But it's not dark anyway, except the back part when I turn, you can see that I still have darker hair at the back. So because I don't colour my hair anymore, you know, I, tr I, when I used to colour my hair, I was always very careful about, you know, buying specific conditioners and hair masks and so on. And when I stopped colouring my hair about 18 months ago, I didn't seem to need as much conditioner because my hair just didn't seem to need it. And the last time I had my hair cut, which would have been about, it was just before Christmas, I haven't had a cut since then. Um, my stylist was saying, oh, you really should condition your hair at least every second time because she said when the hair has no colour it, it can dry out very quickly and if it gets to that stage it's very difficult to get it back to the condition you'd like it to be in. So since then I have been conditioning every time. But I have noticed that I get a lot of you know, frizzies on the top. Um, short little hairs, um, I'm presuming they're it's new growth or whatever, I hope it's not breakage anyway. That's, But it's very difficult to get them to sit down and be tame this one works. So it literally is, I use a tiny amount because I don't want to weigh my hair down and I literally take, I'll do a tiny little bit now, I would take not much more than that and just work it in to my hands like this and again I don't want to weigh it down so I'm literally just going to smooth the top down and then maybe around the sides and you can kind of, you can work with your hair until you kind of get it to where you want it to be. It's not a styling product, it's not going to give you hold, it's literally, you know, if you wanted a bit of definition in the ends of your hair, you could use it for that. And I've seen stylists, you know, kind of working it into their fingers and then working it into the ends of the hair. I've seen them doing that, or as I was, as I have done here, just the top to get those frizzies to sit down and be quiet. <laughs> Or I find as well the front of my hair can be quite flyaway and it's annoying so I would put a little bit into the front of my hair just to kind of make it behave. So that's the John Frieda frizzies. Love that. And that's that's a well tried product. Lots of people talk about that. Now I think that's all my products. The next one is a kind of hmm, it'll tie in with my kind of getting ready for spring summer. Um, and it is a vitamin D supplement. This is a Boots one. And I have, my eldest daughter is a dietitian, and she has been telling us for, I don't know how long, that we all need to be taking a vitamin D supplement, particularly here in Ireland, because we don't get a lot of sunshine. And apparently, even if we do go out into the sunshine without sunscreen, which, I don't know, <laughs> I'm in two minds about whether you should go out for 20 minutes without sunscreen or not. But even if we do do that, apparently the sun isn't of uh, enough intensity to help our bodies to create the vitamin D that we need. Now we do get some from our foods, obviously. Um, you know, if you're drinking fortified milk, a lot of cereals are fortified, breads are fortified, um, but a lot of us don't get enough. And I had been speaking to a friend of mine recently who um, was feeling extremely unwell, had very low energy, was kind of just, you know, she was playing badminton and at the end of the match was literally shaking and anyway, she went to the doctor and had various tests done and it turned out that she literally had no vitamin D in her body and I think her B12 was 
in her boots. And I started thinking about it um, and thought, you know what, there are times of the day that I would feel extremely tired, usually in the afternoon. Um, but I have noticed of late that it can be earlier in the day as well, um, where I would feel like, oh gosh, if I could sit down now, or if I could lie down even and go to sleep, I actually would. So I started thinking about it, um, and she said when she started taking these that, now she was obviously on a, a higher strength because she was under medical care. Um, I thought, well, I could take um, a shop bought supplement and see would it make a difference. So I bought the boots. It's literally just vitamin D. I'll read, read to you what it says on the label. Um, it helps maintain normal bones and teeth. There's 90 tablets in this. I presume that means they're vegan friendly and you just take one a day. Um, so it says what it does. Vitamin D helps your body maintain healthy bones, teeth and a normal immune system. Vitamin D is um, maintained, or sorry, is mainly obtained from sunlight. So is often in short supply through the winter months. You take one tablet a day with plenty of liquid and you can give it these particular ones to children over the age of 12. And it's not a big tablet at all because sometimes, you know, if you're taking, say, omegas, which I have done, I can't take omega-6s, I think I have to take omega-3s. That's the size. It's tiny. I don't know if I hold it up. It's tiny. Very easy to take. One with your breakfast with plenty of plenty of fluid. I've been taking these for approximately two weeks and I have to say I have noticed a difference. I'm not and it's not suddenly oh wow I feel amazing. It's just a gradual change that I'm noticing now gosh I'm not tired now at this stage or I actually have the energy to do whatever. I'm not thinking to myself oh I wish I could go home or I wish I could stop and sit down and do nothing. <laughs> now that's a lot of that is to do with me as a person. I think I was meant to hibernate through the winter. I've often said that and then when the sun comes out and spring arrives then I'm waking up again <laughs> and that's the way it is a little bit at the moment. But those vitamin D supplements have definitely helped me. Um, I am feeling more energized and um, I think actually I'm concentrating on things better. I don't get as you know I don't get as much mind um, blurriness as I suppose sometimes when you're feeling tired you can get like that particularly if you let's face it everybody has a busy life nowadays so whether you're working or you're working mom or you're full-time mom or whatever everybody's very busy and you know we do have times when we just feel like oh I just want to five minutes that has actually really helped so it there's a, there's a lot of signs and if you behind it and if you go and look it up you you'll see that what I'm saying is it's true so my daughter was right a vitamin D supplement is something that's very useful in your diet and it does help with your immune system as well. So I think that's everything. Yes, that's everything I had wanted to talk about today. Um, I was hoping maybe during the week that I might do a little sort of get ready with me. I'm not going to call it a tutorial because it certainly wouldn't be <laughs> at all, but a little sort of maybe chatty get ready with me. Um, so that's my plan for the for later in the week and um, thank you to all my new subscribers I'm just so happy to have you here it's this is such fun I'm really enjoying it and all the lovely comments so um, thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have a wonderful day the rest of the day and I will see you in the next video so bye for now